Hello and welcome to another round gamer video. Dotec is here, back again. It's the first appearance I think uh, since his initial release, uh, probably in March it was that that we had seen him. So it's been a good few months before he's back. Uh, good to see that. Uh, so I'll do his detail skills breakdown and also have a look at the two uh, skills that we have or the ideas of skills that we're getting for the two new divine titans that are soon to be released so yeah do hold on and uh, we will look at that as well so totec ice champion uh, one of one of the i would say the one of the very few imperial titans that are actually viable and actually decent to use i use totec to a fair to a fairly large extent even today um a great titan to take out pigsy um a great titan to take out necrosa as you might be surprised check out my videos if you ha if you're not sure um that he can do it his imperials are really good and with the recent changes with the imperials that have come about he's he's got gotten a little bit more viable as well but uh, where of course he does struggle and hits his limit is with uh, uh goliath he can't win there's there's no chance he's going to take out a harchman um and uh yeah so does have his limits but uh, he's a good right now we'll also have a look at his skills he comes in with 180% damage and 88% AP, but no health. So if you're a new player, if you're thinking about getting this Titan just as a, um, as some, as someone you want to get for your early castles, probably not a great choice given the fact that uh, he doesn't get any health in, on himself. But the damage is really good. I mean, there is potential that you could equip some health relics and make him sort of viable. But there is a risk in that. But where his real meat uh, of his strength is, is, is his Imperials. His Imperials have 180% damage and 88% AP with X health and X armor, which goes up twice on defense. Although Totec is not someone you would want to put on defense uh, because that armor, the 176% armor is nothing for the kind of attackers that are in the game today uh, grenadiers do offer a, a offer a, a really nice punch with 100 with 660 percent damage on attack 88 percent ap and 44 percent critical so it's quite you could get grenadiers nicely buffed up but do remember that totec is an ice champion so you will be limited to uh, well, limited by the number of relics that you can put on to buff the grenadiers um, now in terms of prestige skill uh, his 80 percent base titan health and damage is not going to be very useful for himself but uh, on attack he will summon five grenadiers uh, this is like remember at max at max prestige level and five imperials at on, on defense um, not again not super useful skills in my opinion um, although the grenadiers could be useful uh, in certain situations i have a totec and he isn't prestiged and didn't really feel the need to um, now let's look at his special skills special skills is where he's why i find him really good uh, if you look at the skills on the left when uh, whenever an enemy's troop dies and there's no limit to this by the way your troops will gain 30 percent extra ap and this is why he becomes quite good against necrosa because his armor also keeps going up whenever an enemy is killed um, and there is a 20% chance to summon Omega Imperials, which also helps because um, you, you can literally fill the battlefield with Omega Imperials. And a really good Titan for this reason uh, to be used on Conquest, Assault, many of, the, many of the specialist events. So absolutely love that part of the skills. Um, and uh, it... All right, hopefully we are back now. I uh, don't know what, what happened there. but uh, So now the other skill, apart from his omega summoning ability which is what is really good for is that whenever an enemy whenever an enemy is summoned so if you have an omega uh, let's say an omega horde or an omega grenadier spawned he will drop special these so-called apocalyptic meteor spells on them which um, ha i think have some extra damage as well but the but the main thing is that they have a reduced radius and they actually last a bit longer as well i should have added that so they do last longer as well and all the spells that totec brings in uh, will have a hundred percent buff to their fire damage so overall good titan for specialist events and for certain de certain defenses but uh, you know he's ve he's basically limited by the fact that the overall stats for imperials isn't on to par uh, which limits 
where he can be used um, in today's game. I mean, personally, I wish the Imperials had the 360% damage, uh, which is two times an attack, and maybe they had some elemental resistance there or melee resistance, and Totec would have proved more useful on attack. Uh, right, so then we have Dracor also available in this event. I'm not going to really talk about him in too much detail. A great design titan, by the way. Um, and in, in fact, uh, if you look at his skills, he does have Grenadier's damage, uh, but in, but he pales in comparison to Totec, but he's a fire champion, so you will have more relics to buff Grenadier's, and that's probably how you should be using him. But he's a very good titan uh, if you're an early castle player, um, but he's a non-summoner. Doesn't have any special invoke skills as well. Especially skill does give you some Titan Bales base health and damage. Um, and so he is overall good as well. But I wouldn't recommend on doing this event only for this particular Titan. But as we shall see, you can actually land up in a getting him for almost next to nothing. Um, so yeah, I'll let you read his skills on his own. Before we go on to the actual breakdown of the, the actual event, uh, let's have a look at these two. Titans. I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce them, but one on the left uh, is supposed to be a Pyromancer, and uh, and the one on the right is supposed to be a Venommancer. Now, do, does that mean we have a new Titan class? Remember, we did not see any weapons on them, or is it just the devs just calling these two Titans by, you know, just a name to kind of uh, capsulate what their actual skills are? So if you look at what their what the skills are. Um, the, and uh, the uh, one on the left uh, looks like a fire fire version fire, uh, pyromines obviously meaning fire uh, so she will enhance her troops with haste and will also so with haste and rage so what that lets me believe is that she'll increase the speed of her troops and will give them a raid spell so you probably will be looking at auto raid spells something similar to what Eros does so that should be interesting and she channels the power of fire engulfing the battlefield in flame so that means if i if i if i think this correctly probably means fireballs and fire and meteor spells on the battlefield maybe an auto version of it so maybe every 30 seconds we see a fireball or a meteor spell drop on the field so she should be very good uh, in that uh, and she should be quick so um uh, although I don't like to believe it myself because I've, I've seen too many berserkers in the game, but I do think she will be a berserker if she is not a new Titan class herself. Do note what the devs say that they say brace yourself for the power of sorcery. So whether that's a kind of a uh, whether they by that they mean special types of skills or does that mean new Titan class shall be uh, shall be uh, worth looking at. Uh, one on the right. Uh, uh, this I probably can pronounce Grothurn uh, is a Venomancer with the ability to counter enemy spells. So you could probably see that whenever an enemy casts a spell, so something like what Hachiman does, so when you cast a spell, increase the elemental resistance, he might do something similar. Uh, but this could include healing enemies, uh, slowing the enemies down as well. So maybe whenever you cast a spell, the enemies slow down and your and your troops starts to heal, something like that, and uh, with deadly toxin. So they, uh, and that probably means there's going to be a poison cloud, some sort of enhanced poison clouds on the field. So very interesting. And I think from what the uh, dev seems to say, I think we will see more information on this um, in weeks to come. Right then, so what do we have regarding the actual event? Uh, it's a 21,000 souls event, lower than usual. So not 25 and 30k business. It'll start tomorrow and uh, you're gonna get 1.4x with Totec, Bast, Krothos and Drakor. You know, if you are considering choosing one to grind, grind of course, if you don't have Totec, then uh, Bast will be a great choice given the speed that with which you can raid using Horde and uh, with uh, some Void Relics. Other than that, uh, Krothos would be a good choice as well because you could go in with all Imperials a bit faster um, and with Krothos's uh, uh, sort of free f free spells, this could help as well. Boost Relic, Chilling Statue, you might have seen that before. But in terms of rewards, you can get Drakor at a pretty hefty price, to be honest, in my opinion, for a Titan like that. 12,000 souls. Totec at 16,000, which is actually quite low, so they kind of balance that. In fact, what that, what that makes me say is that 
if you're gonna go for Draco, well, you must go for Totec. And honestly, the probably the reverse way to look at it is well, you should probably be, in my opinion, doing this event only if you plan to finish or you plan to get Totec. Uh, I mean, the two relics that are featured for Totec, Hummingbird, and Totex, uh, whatever that is, I don't find them super useful um, because I tend to use Totec with an Imperial build. But if you like Grenadier play uh, or mixing Grenadiers with Imperials, you might want to do that. In fact, I could say you could completely be fine just going up to 16,000 souls and not going any further if you have the Mark of Elithian, uh, which featured in the Krothos events. Now, talking about 12,000 souls being a lot for Drakor, if you look at the reward, Alliance rewards, you can actually get Drakor uh, for ranking 51 to 100. So if you really just want Drakor, you have a Totec, maybe you want Drakor as... Uh, as forging f uh, as a sort of prestige food for let's say Aries or something like that then you could probably get yourself into an alliance which uh, with, a, with a pretty low soul count I mean I you're probably looking at something under 3 to 4k or even less than that um, uh, depending on how many finishes they are in that uh, and you could easily sell yourself to get a Drakkar so I really would say don't do this event for Drakkar if you're going for if you're trying to do this event go up to Totec and if you don't have the mark for lithium then yep right go right up to that as well because uh, that is really the good relic one uh, the really great relic in this event titan and true ice damage uh, freeze duration and rage duration absolutely fantastic could really go well on Totec but uh, does very well on Krothos if you don't have that uh, the hummingbird is probably the next best relic here with some grandiose skills and imperials all element losses although a bit underwhelming at 16 percent um there so uh, as we have you know the river relics available in this event you got draco's griff gift um draco's gauntlet some pretty good relics um, but uh, they are pretty uh, pretty average in my opinion unless you're looking for a grandiose build you know, which is probably why you could you probably would want it the other relics which are actually quite good with uh, Totec, not featured in this event, but have been available at various points. Frozen Crown, uh, Chilling Wall, Frozen Dagger, Spartan Helm, uh, Brilliant Relics, especially. Uh, the, the uh, what I really do like is the Frozen Crown, the Imperial's Health, and the Titan Army Resistance Physical does really help. Especially if you're trying to use Totec against Big Z or any of these. Um, spearman heavy physical defenses in the game right and of course the earth shaker that was recently featured as a five star relic in the event so if you are uh, if you have that one if you manage to get this one then totec would really serve you well i think probably i would say a totec without five star without this five star is going to be even less effective uh, but he probably will still do well on conquest and assault and such events now talking about Imperials, um, there is an update uh, from Balancing Update as they've said they've added 20% extra health over the existing um, changes in the uh, update release. So they have initially released I think 25% health increase and now we've got getting another 20% taking the overall health up by 45% which is still not going to do anything in my opinion uh, but uh, I'll let you decide that for yourselves. They have also done some for Meteor spells, they've increased the damage for Meteor spells with 25% to all levels, so they will pack a more punch, but also what they've done is, so whenever these, uh, you know, if you notice a Meteor spells, when, it ca when it's cast, all these Meteors kind of drop in a certain radius, now each of these Meteors that drop, they will now um, have a 25% increased radius of, for the damage, so they, so they will actually land up killing more in the battlefield, so that's good. It'd be interesting to see whether they actually still manage to hit something and actually kill something because whether that 25% increase across all levels does something. And my, my meteor spells are level 23. Never found never found the reason uh, to take them any further. Maybe this will change it. Maybe not. We shall see. But they do say these changes are live, so yeah, you can enjoy these effects straight away. Uh, coming to the schedule next week, we got Leather Tower coming as the Conquest Titan. Um, probably a bit of a level 10 uh, people might consider getting him those that already have him might want to get him maybe for as Hachiman prestige food 
but there could also be an interesting levels I think level 8 Titan which could also be an Earth Titan so uh, an event which people might consider finishing just for prestige for Derby if not nothing else but otherwise uh, let the tower uh, is, is a good Titan uh, for uh, if, if you want to do this and of course the real reason people want to do conquest is less for the Titans normally and it is more for the three times battle drop that's featured which lets you level up your Titans and relics um, then the real other thing in the talk about here is we got Alliance for Dawn of Corrupted so this probably points at some um, uh, some skeleton based, raised dead based, or, or rather, whore, or a combination of horde based titan coming in the game. This probably could mean a new titan, we don't know yet. Uh, but do note that the Halloween in UK is 31st October, so this is this is not tying with Halloween. So, my suspicion is uh, this will be a new titan, but uh, it probably will not be the um. Uh, the sort of event sort of the ultimate titan they want to release this here for for raised dead so it might actually be a whole titan so we, we shall see i'm not really sure what that is but when they say corrupted um it does to me that signifies some raised dead titans we might even see calvarax come back it's been a while since we've seen him right guys i think that's it for this sort of uh, overview i uh, hope you like this do let me know in the comments do drop a like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll uh, catch you on another round of my video.